What is up, everybody? To over Steve here today. So I just released a video talking about Google Stadia's about to shut down their service coming January of next year. And so apparently, a Sony fanboy wants to blame Microsoft for Stadia shutting down. Like, really? <laughs> like, Microsoft is behind Stadia shutting down, and not the fact that gamers don't want to stream their video games. That's not the big factor. But Microsoft is the big culprit behind here. It's not like that Scooby Doo meme where like. The um, Scooby-Doo gang, they have the one criminal tied up and they pull the mask off. And instead of um, people not wanting to buy Stadia as the real culprit here, they not want to stream games as the real culprit. Apparently, th and this guy's a pain, when you pull off the mask, the people who actually <laughs> destroy Stadia is just this Microsoft who's under the mask, apparently. So this doesn't make any sense to me, but this is what this guy says. Two years ago, Xbox targeted Google as their main comp competition. One year later, Google Stadia said Microsoft aggressive acquisitions have made it unco uncompetitive and they shut down Stadia Studios. One year later, Stadia announces they are shutting down completely. These are the facts. And he tags the CMA government UK. How low can you get? Like, geez. <laughs> Literally trying to use <laughs> Stadia shutting down as a reason why Microsoft is not is being super anti-competitive or whatever you're trying to, the narrative you're trying to push. That's like a really... So he says, Microsoft's Xbox ball says Amazon and Google are the main competitors going forward. Okay. Microsoft, Beth Microsoft Bethesda acquisitions reportedly probably responsible for Stadia Studio shutdown or whatever. I don't understand how to be responsible for anything. Like, how are they even the same? <laughs> yeah, I don't get it. I don't know. I don't, so I don't see how they're even related, to be honest. It's kind of like, you look at any type of social media, you see that Google Stadia wasn't preferred. <laughs> like, people are talking about PC, Nintendo, Xbox, and PlayStation. You rarely heard, like, a whisper from people talking about Google Stadia. So, it's like, it is what it is. Grown men are pleading about video games to the CMA. Your parents must be proud. <laughs> Then this person responds and says, Microsoft must be proud they killed off Google's gaming division, costing people jobs and bringing less competition. How, Sway? How did Microsoft kill off Google Stadia? Like, I'm not even seeing a comparison here. Like, how is it killing it off? Like, people don't want Google Stadia. Like, it's obvious. I've never heard one person brag about enjoying Google Stadia. Um... Will pay to keep games off Game Pass. Okay. They're in a highly competitive industry and wouldn't even be the biggest company by game revenue after the acquisition. Sony attempts to would be still be ahead. Stop whining about this legitimate business transaction. And then we're acting like Google is like this helpless company. Google owns YouTube. Google is <laughs> has a home search engine. Google is a rich, very rich company. So it's just it's just stupid. They say, hey, Google is like, they act like Google is like some helpless like animal or something like that. Like, what? It's just, it's just a, a, a mind boggling. Imagine talking to see him, they actually think it's going to make a difference. Depressing. Will this make a difference while he's licking Sony's boot? Okay. <laughs> Tagging the CMA in your tweet, it's just kind of sad. Yeah, this is kind of, this is legit sad because this is almost as cringy as people tagging the president and the FBI about Microsoft stopping the Activision deal. This is kind of on that same level, but dealing with the UK. This is kind of on that same pathetic level right there. Like, really? <laughs> Sony fanboys are so scared of the acquisition that they don't pretend to care about Stadia. We know damn well these Sony guys don't care about Stadia at all. This is only some type of slight jab at Xbox and Microsoft. It's like they don't care about Stadia. No, who was really talking about Stadia like that? To be honest, so he says that they'll pretend to care about Stadia and pretend like Xbox was somehow responsible for their downfall. This account is sincerely the best. This grown man is pleading to a government body to block an acquisition. <laughs> He wants the acquisition. He wants the acquisition to be blocked over some stupid console war list wars. I say, hey, Sony has more games than Xbox, and he doesn't want Call of Duty to be associated with Xbox. Is the main reason why he's contacting the CMA, which is just or tweeting at the CMA, which is just ridiculous. You know, Google could have bought Activision if they really wanted to. Yeah, Google makes a lot of money. If they wanted to buy any of these big companies, they could have did that. Facts are Google never tried to compete and just needs to blame the competition to avoid any lawsuits. Um, 
I am thoroughly confused here. Which narrative are you running with today? Does Xbox have no games or Xbox is Monopoly? Yeah, they really have a hard time choosing which one they want to go with. A lot of these narratives they want to go with either Xbox has no games, you're just playing nothing on Xbox, or Xbox has too many games and it's just Monopoly now. It is really hard for the Sony brand to decide which, which path it wants to go to at each, either point right there. Uh, look, it's a clown. Okay. We much call this dude a clown. Dude, you are so pathetic. Are you admitting Xbox is gonna kill PlayStation? Uh, this people out there really think that Bethesda acquisition hurt them. Seriously, Fallout, Doom, Wolfenstein, and other Bethesda games are on other services and storefronts like PlayStation Now. Yeah, but yeah, poor poor old Google. Bro, Stadia sucked from the start. Stop using Xbox as a scapegoat. Yeah, the fact that they're using Xbox as a scapegoat is just very concerning. Like, we all know Stadia was trash. Like, really. And nobody wanted to stream their games like this. But the blaming of Microsoft right here is just, just comical at this point. Good thing Xbox doesn't think of PlayStation as a competitor then. All that whining for nothing. You realize PlayStation Bar, but those are games Deathloop and Ghost Ride Tokyo from being on Google Stadia. Xbox has put every title they could from Bethesda on Stadia. So it was PlayStation with their exclusive marketing deal and parody deals barring games from Stadia and they killed it. So apparently Okay, so apparently Ghostwire and Deathloop was supposed to be on Stadia too, but Sony made those timed exclusive. So is it really Xbox at fault here? But then again, I still don't think even though those games were on Stadia as well, I don't think that would have changed anything to be honest. I think Stadia was gonna go away eventually. <laughs> it's like it's just sooner than later. It's just it's just it was gonna go away anyway. The crying dragon. The crying room is over there. <laughs> This guy has crowned Microsoft again. Yeah, he cries about Microsoft on a daily basis at this point. Who hurt this dude? Apparently Microsoft did. <laughs> uh, what is your point here? Microsoft obviously had a better model going forward. Google's fault they failed. Ultimately, yeah, it is kind of ultimately Google's fault. Like They should have seen that gamers weren't really reactive to stream your video games it's like i think the average gamer would rather just buy a console or a game on a pc it's like i don't know bro people get paid a lot of money to make these decisions when it's like kind of obvious like they're just so blind to what's going on in gaming in general because like literally i don't think anybody is shocked that google stadia is going away <laughs> i don't think like anybody is shocked pony salt you think you're going to stop the acquisition how cute you think you matter yeah did you really tag the UK CMA? He really tagged the UK CMA, which is like actually like a legit like regulatory body that's an official in the UK. But you know, let's tag them over some nonsense. Like this is gonna do anything. Mm. <laughs> he has a clown clown suit ready, pretty much. That's a bit of a reach. Stadia's failure had nothing to do with Xbox. And that is so obvious that anybody could see that. Like, what does that, what does Xbox even have to do with Stadia? Like, really? With state what Stadia fell in? OMG, still the crying. These ponies are becoming more and more pathetic. Face palm. Stick to what you know. This changes nothing for the acquisition. You have absolutely zero idea how any of this works for regulators. Grown men crying to a government body over video games. Yeah, that's, that's truly sad. <laughs> how is that no competition? It is Google's fault for not doing S to their service. And then it's like, how, it's like, they just keep acting like Google just has like zero money. Like they're like a super indie company or something like that. Like It's just like, really? Pretty sure Google wanted to compete to a higher level they could have with all the money they do have, so... Cry some more, you freaking clown. Okay, so Mickey Mouse is drinking this guy's salty tears. 40 year old man child. Boo effing who? This right here is sad, bro. You PlayStation fans are really down this bad. You're pathetic. 
get some help, dude. You are making a clown yourself. He does this on a daily basis at this point. So it's like, I guess he just has no shame at this point. And we'll try to use anything they can against Xbox. When it's just like, really? <laughs> like, we really want to play an Xbox for Google Stadia fill-in. Okay. Keep crying. There's a little sad pink pony crying. Okay. <laughs> get a life, you weirdo. Yeah, so he's just getting roasted at this point. Like, jeez. Apparently, he had a big YouTube channel. I don't know why he stopped doing YouTube and started doing a stupid fanboy nonsense, but apparently, he had a successful YouTube channel. Okay. Nobody cares about Stadia, you idiot. Nobody ever did. Pretty much the honest truth it was like maybe like a small minority of people who cared about Stadia, but the vast majority of people didn't care about Stadia whatsoever, so. That another person says Xbox kills Stadia and he has an infamous profile pic of PlayStation exclusive game. Okay, so he's definitely not biased there. Man thought putting the third image covers the favoritism for Sony. Try again. Nobody wanted Stadia to begin with and it won't be missed. LMAO. Of course, Stadia says that they're scapegoating literal cope. Yeah. You think Google has announced that they just didn't support their service enough, or you think they're just gonna put the blame on Microsoft or Bethesda? <laughs> Which one are they gonna go with? Um, please seek therapy because I'm convinced at this point someone at Microsoft hurt you really badly to be <laughs> to be defending Google Stadia. Okay, I have never seen someone have have this much of a hate boner for Xbox and suck every other company's. Johnson, you somehow make IGN's review smart. Did Xbox bully you when you were a kid? Get a life, dude. <laughs> I think that was a good point to conclude it right here. But yeah, Stadia shutting down isn't shocking to pretty much anybody at this point. The fact that Microsoft is being blamed is ridiculous. And the fact that he actually tagged the CMA government UK body to, to, to look at this matter is just even more ridiculous. So... I don't know. Another day, Sony fanboys are making a fool of themselves. What else is new at this point, really? But definitely want to see your thoughts down below. Leave a like for this video. And as always, thanks for watching and peace.